Distinguished General Archie Francisco Ferranil Gamboa. Thank you very much. Please be seated. I would like to greet our command group who are present here today, the Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Police Lieutenant General Picoy Tespada, our Deputy Chief PNP for Operations, Police Lieutenant General Milor Ilazar, our Chief Directorial Staff, Police Lieutenant General Cesar Bina. And we also have here today our Director for Operations, physically present, Police Major General Rico Lico. To the members of the directorial staff, to the regional directors, the DRDAs, DRDOs, regional chief directorial staff, and to the directors of the national separate units, police commission officers, non-commission officers, and of course the special guests of the different police regional offices who are joining us virtually. A pleasant good morning to everyone. Good morning, sir. Today we will emulate the event of, the, of our organization's 119th police service anniversary. This is an annual event that brings us all together to recall and appreciate the beginnings of the police service and to pay tribute to our forebears and police heroes who fought, sacrificed, and died so that our beloved country may enjoy freedom, peace, and security. As we commemorate yet another chapter in the PNP history, I hope that every man and woman of this organization Know the police service history by heart because by knowing our roots and our history of gallantry and valor that we could find the wisdom to move forward and be inspired to equal or even surpass the triumph of our noble police heroes that mark the history of the PNP. Upon my assumption as the 23rd Chief of the Philippine National Police, we embark on a mission as a team of writing a new narrative for our organization, a drug-free and corrupt-free police force, and bringing forth team spirit among PNP personnel. This goal serves as my inspiration, guided by our president's vision for a peaceful and progressive country. In giving PNP's focus trust under my stewardship, namely, Optimize utilization of resources, empower individual and unit service reputation, empower human resource, institutionalize organizational reforms, and provide effective public service. As I visited different regional offices, one common accomplishment that I have noticed is the significant improvement in the facilities and infrastructure. And I believe it is the manifestation of one of the PNP's leadership goals of optimizing the utilization of resources through proper stewardship and distribution to the regional offices. I am happy to note that our regional directors of the different regional offices, national operational support units and national administrative support units, including the two newly transferred training institutions to our fold the Philippine National Police Academy and the National Police Training Institute have properly utilized the resources entrusted to them by the national headquarters. We set sail in restoring the image of the PNP into one that would portray the police officer as a trustworthy and respectable public servant in the eyes of the people. With this vision in mind, we launched the Revitalized Internal Cleansing Program this program utilizes a holistic approach that covers punitive, restorative, and preventive strategies that aim to discipline, correct, and set an example to the police force with an end goal of elevating our service reputation 
and to eventually gain the trust of our citizenry. I am very much thankful to all of our head of offices and unit commanders for the unflinching support and dedication to vigorously implement this program and harp the message that we mean business when it comes to personnel discipline. As the father of our organization, empowering our people has become my top priority, believing that human resource is the most important resource of the PNP. To fully realize this noble goal, key initiatives were decisively implemented. We have strengthened our human resources by beefing up the number of personnel through continuous recruitment. The morale and welfare program was revitalized to deliver the message that excellent performance is quickly recognized and rewarded. More than a million different awards were given to the PNP personnel who excelled in the performance of their respective tasks nationwide. This includes your highly commendable accomplishments in response to COVID-19. Equally important, we have conducted numerous training and technical skill enhancement activities to level up the skill sets of our PNP personnel. This key initiative had deniably borne fruits shown in the unprecedented accomplishments of every unit. As Herbert Spencer's Spencer rightly put it, the great aim of education is not knowledge but action. Our operational units have gained strong footings against criminal activities, especially on our campaign against illegal drugs, illegal gambling, and terrorism, among others. In our latest statistics on index crime, comparing the period December 17, 2019 to March 16, 2020, as against the period March 17 to June 17, 2020, 91 days before and after the enhanced community quarantine, there was a remarkable decrease of 14,219 to 6,408, or a reduction of 54.93%. We have also proven our resolve and capability to enforce the law against high-value criminals with an increase in the arrest of most wanted persons at the different levels nationwide, highlighted by the recent arrest of Ruben Eclio, the country's number one most wanted person who has been in hiding for nine years. I therefore congratulate all our field investigators nationwide for our job well done. Under my watch, the illegal anti-illegal drug operations from October 14, 2019 to August 1, 2020 showed a total of 41,972 conducted operations. 62,342 arrested drug suspects, 3,293 surrendered personalities, or a total of and a total of two million two million two hundred sixty-one thousand six hundred twenty-three point forty-five grams, or roughly that's almost two tons of methamphetamine hydrochloride or shabu seized with a total dangerous drugs board value of 15.379 billion pesos. Included in is the PNP Tech's biggest bypass operations in Marilao, Bulacan, worth 5.3 billion pesos of Shabu. Such rare feat is considerably the largest in terms of quantity and value of Shabu confiscated in a single operation since the anti-illegal drugs campaign was launched in 2016. This result manifests the aggressive anti-illegal drug posture of the PNP during this period. As for our anti-terrorism efforts with the enactment of the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020, lalo pa nitong napalawig ang ating responsibilidad na subuin ang mga terorista at mga makakaliwang grupo na matagal ng problema ng ating bansa. In the government's campaign to end local communist armed conflict, I want to commend the substantial contribution 
of the different field units involved in the red and white area operations that led to the surrender of 476 local terrorists, confiscation of 1,669 assorted firearms, and neutralization of 85 CTGs who hope to fight it out with government. Recently, on August 4, 2020, our police security forces are in hot pursuit of a group, Communist New People's Army Insurgents, in a sabotage mission that engaged elements of the Regional Mobile Force Battalion 4A in a firefight in Barangay Antonio Calaya and Laguna that lasted for an hour between more or less 40 members of CPP, NPA, and NDF, which resulted to confirm death of three terrorist group members initially identified as Juscoro Celio, alias Ka Termo, and two others known as Ka Omar and Ka Dani. Celio, a ranking guerrilla front leader, is also subject to the arrest order with a 3.8 million peso reward, another accomplishment on the part of the PNP. However, with this incident, let me remind again all police regional offices to be more vigilant and maintain preventive and proactive operations in coordination with the AF units against communist terrorist groups. Another important consideration moving forward is the necessity to counter the evolving strategy of these leftist and even other criminal personas in using technology and cyberspace. It is therefore imperative to fully enforce our secured, mobile, AI-driven, and real-time smart policy to combat these threats and to further deliver effective and efficient public service even in the face of rapid technological evolution. As the country has been fallen by successive calamities with the Taal eruption and by a global pandemic due to the coronavirus, proudly I must say that the PNP has remained steadfast and resilient. The PNP plays a vital role in containing the spread of the COVID-19 virus in the community where, sadly, more than 2,000 of our men have sacrificed their health while rendering their service for the people. In line with this, the PNP has added safety measures to ensure the health and wellness of our personnel in the front lines and those doing administrative work in different PNP offices. We have issued responsive guidelines and protocols to protect ourselves from the virus. We even established our own RT-PCR testing facility and sufficient quarantine facilities to accommodate our own personnel. I therefore commend the members of the admin support to COVID-19 Operations Task Force for a job well done in ensuring that the logistical, financial, and health support to our personnel in the frontliners are fully provided. Combating COVID-19 is everybody's business. I therefore enjoin you all to implement strictly in your respective areas of responsibilities the health protocols that were implemented to prevent further COVID-19 casualties from our end. Together, we will win this war. Likewise, in response to the government's direction under the new normal, the PNP created the study group on the adoption to the new normal which crafted the general guidelines for the PNP setup under the new normal. Said guidelines were anchored on the following key principles. Number one, adherence, adherence to the minimum health standards. Number two, usage of technology and IT. Number three, revised deployment scheme work schedule. Number four, enhance personnel knowledge competency. Number five, enhance workspace, fixed or mobile and infrastructure. And number six, new equipment or additional funds. Hence, the theme towards a pandemic resilient PNP, deploying digital technologies, and adopting protective protocols in the new normal. Fittingly describes our key initiatives and interventions 
to effectively respond to the new normal. Undoubtedly, our timely and sound response has enabled us to effectively transition to the new normal. However, these guidelines, albeit responsive, are still insufficient. To effectively navigate the new normal in the digital age towards the delivery of the PNP's organizational outcomes, there is a need to revisit and integrate current and proposed strategic plans to come up with a harmonized medium and long-term plans for the organization. In line with this, the study group on the adoption to new normal was expanded with the addition of three subgroups to name subgroup on reorganization, subgroup on capability enhancement and smart policy, and subgroup on human resource development. The expanded study group is tasked to do the following. One, to assess and strengthen the PNP's planning and budgeting services and the human resource and development program. Two, harmonize all the existing and proposed PNP strategic plans. Three, incorporate the programs, activities, and projects of the harmonized medium and long-term plans into the annual operations plans and budget. And four, ensure that the harmonized plans are translated into the PNP's budget proposal starting 2022 and beyond. These accomplishments are undoubtedly unprecedented, but would not be possible if none of our key stakeholders and partners, with special mentions to the municipal, city, provincial, and regional advisory councils. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. We should also be grateful to the strong support of our president, our Napolitan chairman, our partner agencies, the local government units, and the different sectors from our society, especially in our effort to bring peace and order in our streets and communities. Again, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Summing up all our accomplishments, single-minded devotion to our goal has led us to achieve great success from small win successes. On that note, allow me to commend the competent and dedicated men and women from the national headquarters to the national administrative support units, national operational support units, and the police regional offices that despite tremendous challenges and obstacles, you have remained strong, resilient, and committed to the PNP's mandate to serve and to protect. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Thus, I hope that you continuously strive for improvement and be competitively at par with the world's best law enforcement units. To be the best law enforcer, you must always strive to get even better. Based on the work of Stephen Covey on seven habits of highly effective people, some of the habits foretold marks deeply such as being proactive by always sharpening your saw through learnings and finding your voice to inspire others to find theirs. May also commend all the awardees for each respective offices and units. Congratulations on your achievements and remain to be the exemplars of good deeds, dedication, and integrity and make the entire PNP more proud of you as you carry on with your service. Your cash awards are ready with your regional directors. Don't you sila singilin. On a final note, I implore all of you to honor the Almighty God with unselfish service to our country and people. Continue to take pride as members of our organization that has become a true pillar of this nation and upon which its progress and development are found. Again, happy anniversary to all of us. Mabuhay ang Team Philippine National Police. Thank you very much, sir. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the Chief of the Philippine National Police. And